Welcome to the Jonas educational video and this subject will be about activity management as forms design. So we will go to system administration activity setups forms designer and we'll double click on forms. Now we initially will give you copies of forms that you can then save as or duplicate and manipulate for your own benefit. So I'm going to pick on the event orders because uh, event management is one that most heavily uses the forms. So let's go down and look at the event orders. So we give you multiple layouts to choose from. Let's just say we're going to use our split event order. So what you do is click on this and then click duplicate, which will then make a copy of this and we can rename this to whatever we want. So, oops, country club event order. And then click save. So that is now on the system. Now at this point, we can do some editing to that form. Now the key here is uh, if you want to make changes, you need to use the advanced form designer. Uh, form designer will let you get in and make minor changes but really if you're going to be manipulating the form you need to use the advanced form designer so if we click that and what will happen is the take a minute but it'll open the form in a editor for you where you can make changes to certain things now you cannot make drastic changes if you're talking about you know changing the order in which things appear like moving items from the left over to the right that's something you would have to get Jonas involved with but for minor changes on this form where for instance we want to put our logo in um, at the bottom of the form we may want to change where it says the text change this to say our club that type of thing so to make changes let's say to the logo all you need to do is click on that logo and what happens is on the right, you'll get a listing of different properties for that. So if I just want to change that image, you'll see an item here that says image. So if you click that, you'll see this little dot, dot, dot will show up. So if I click that, that'll let me browse and grab any image I want. Now, as soon as you get that image into the box, you can manipulate it. For instance, I can say I want that to be aligned in my box in the center. And then I can stretch it so it fills the box or auto size it, uniform, normal, whatever you want. Most commonly what we do in these things is do stretch because then we can manipulate the box so the logo looks the way we expect it to and we can also move it around. Now as you're editing this form you're going to want to know what it looks like so what you can do is basically click this little diskette icon at the top which will save any changes that you've made and then once that's done saving you can click on this one right next to it which will actually launch a viewer for you. And this will at least show you roughly, well, that's what it's going to look like. For instance, that logo is too long. It's going to start cutting into my box, which isn't going to look right. So I may move that up and move that over. And then again, I can save it and then view it. Now, if you want to change the actual text on something, uh, so let's say, for instance, in here, um, let's pick something we want. Uh, I'm going to go down to the bottom here. For instance, we want this text, which is a standard disclaimer that prints at the bottom of our form. All you need to do is double click on it. That will then bring up the text and you can edit it however you like. Now let's say I actually want to add text to this. So 
So I actually want to put my own text box on here with the, you know, contact details or whatever. So there's two options with that. Okay. There's advanced text and standard text. If you want to do hyperlinks, uh, color, that type of thing, then you might want to use the advanced text. But you still have some manipulation when you do it with the standard text one. So once you put that box in, again, I can double click on it and type in what I want. Now at that point, I want to manipulate it. You still can through the properties. So in here, I can basically tell it, well, you know, I want to use a different font, for instance. So I can click on the font field and I can change the font to whatever I like. I can change the size of the font. And then you can get really creative. You can start putting in special effects. Again, I can dictate how it's going to fit on there. I can dictate the alignment. So I can say I want that to be centered. So go into the center. And then I can also move it around myself if I want to. To get rid of a field, you just basically click on it so it's highlighted and then click delete. That will remove that field. So anything that's a straight text is simple, you can edit it. For instance, some clients don't want the it to say service charge, they want to say something else, then you need to just click on it. Now these get a bit trickier because these are what we call layers. So trying to hit on the right one, you'll see the text. So once you're in there, I can also edit it right here, or I can double click on it there. As I said, uh, editing this to say something out of the notes, same idea. I can click on it and then edit it to say something else. Key is when you're making those changes is to make sure that you're always saving it and viewing it to make sure it lines up the way you want. So I'll get out and then I'll click save here. Now those event forms can be attached throughout the system. Same with the spa confirmations, the dining reservations. Those are done through the different modules where you tell it which form to use for the email or the confirmation or the event order or the function sheet or what have you. And that's it.